Hey yo, what's up everybody? Today I'm going to show you how to play Minecraft Java Edition servers on your Nintendo Switch or on your Xbox or PlayStation. Not any older devices that can't run the latest Minecraft, which, you know, you have to kind of have, which is 1.20.31. And basically it's a in-depth tutorial on how to do it. We'll, I'll go slowly with you guys and show you how to do it. So, the, for the first step, you want to go to your system settings. And in your system settings, you want to go down to your internet. And you want to go internet, internet settings. Because that's what you basically want to do. Now, you'll get, you'll get all your Wi-Fi networks. And what you do, well, it's, you click on yours. And then you change your settings. Now, this will be set to automatic. You, you want The only thing you want to change in here is your DNS settings. And basically, you, I want you guys to copy these two DNS settings. So, primary 104.238.130.180. And then, that, that's your primary DNS. Your secondary DNS will be 001.001.001.001.001. Or you could just put 1.1.1.1. It doesn't matter. See? Delete all this. One... Point one, point one, point one. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. so you save it, and then you'll be disconnected from your Wi-Fi, but it'll automatically reconnect, and you'll be okay. And just make sure right up at the top right. Um, I don't think I can really see, but you can see my Wi-Fi is connected. So I'm gonna open up Minecraft now on my account. Now you do need some sort of mobile device or some computer. But you do need a Minecraft account. This is not cracked or anything. If it's a Java server, then you need a Minecraft account. But if it is a Bedrock server, a custom Bedrock server, you can 100% play. You don't need a Java account. as long as long as, If it's a Bedrock server, you don't need a Java account. But if it's a Java server, you need a Bedrock account. And just to show you, I'm going to switch off the air. And this is my display capture I or my computer. I have my Minecraft server. I'll just open it right now. So it's already running. So I can show you guys what to do. I'm just gonna switch back. All right. So here I'm on my switch now. I'm on my account, as you can see in the left. You do need Microsoft, um, uh, Nintendo Online, or you know whatever you are, and you basically are like this. And you want to go play, obviously. So you want to go to your servers. Now, if you hover over any server, to to It'll say zero online out of 20. So you just want to join any of your servers. For me, personally, it works on the Mineville. Usually I wait for the ping to show up, and then I join, just to make sure it works. But it all depends on your, I guess, your unlock or something that you get. So actually, Cubecraft is not affected because it says 8,000 people playing. But Lifeboat is affected because it... Um, well, the hive is actually affected, so I'm going to go into the hive. It's going to connect you to an external server. Now, you only know when it works when you uh, load into the server, and it shows up a different menu than, or it shows up way different than any before. So, yeah, it'll usually take a long time to load, and then you'll get to this area. You can see you have all the normal servers here. You can actually join the servers if you want to from here, I think. But... What you want to do here is you want to go connect to a server. So you press A on it or whatever. And then up here, you'll see the IP address. What you want to put is geyser, geyser connect dot net. Basically like this. I'll let you guys copy that down for a second. Or just feel free to pause. You basically put geyser connect on net. You put in the, uh, it's in just a normal port, 191.32 usually. You can put a display down on the server list, so it's not just saying geyserconnect.net. It actually has a name, so you can put it as, you know, my Minecraft server or friends Minecraft server and things like that. But if you want to, you can also add it to server list 100%. And that's basically, yeah, and then you'll get... You'll get like you'll either load into the server or this will be here, and you just want to click on it. 
and it's gonna it's gonna look like it kicked you out of the server that you are currently just on, which is like Mineville or I don't know. I don't have any more examples. But it's gonna look like this, it's gonna load, it's gonna load, and it's gonna be like this for a while. But eventually you can see it just loaded me into a different server, which is Geyser MC. So you're probably gonna need to download a resource pack. Which, yeah, it's probably going to happen. But then it's going to look s pretty similar to the exact server you were just on. Where it had the menu and other things like that. So, um, just give it a minute to load. Oh, loading. Let's go. So, yeah, it's going to look like this. You have a notice. So, you can be banned. You can be banned on Hypixel, on big servers. Because their anti-cheat will get you. So, be careful if you join those. And at every every uh, 72 hours at 5 o'clock UTC, um, the server restarts. I don't really know what that is in EST or other time zones, but I do know it's somewhere around. Th I don't know. I just guess. And I hope it doesn't happen. So you just press submit. You'll load into something that looks like this. You want to go to custom servers. And custom servers will bring you up this. Now you can go to edit. You want to go to edit servers add server and then here's your here's your server so if you have a java server you would put in your actual computer's ip so your public ip and then you basically i'm gonna have to blur this part out because this is my actual ip but it you just uh edit it you add it and then hold up i just need to look at this again so you press submit and then it'll it'll show up here. You you'll be in custom. You'll still be in edits. So you have to go back, and then you'll see custom servers. You click on your server. As long as your server's open, it'll it'll show up this. So you actually need a, your computer. Yes, as you can see, you need a Java Edition account to play. So I'm going to log in with the Microsoft account, and I'm going to switch to my computer. Actually, I'm going to split these two windows in half. So next you see. So I'm just transforming this. Actually, you know, I'll just pull up my the uh, actual monitor. So first, I'm opening up Opera, and then the link it says right here is aka.ms/remote-connect. So I'm gonna do uh, aka slash uh, no aka.ms/remote-connect, and it'll pull up this, and then you go back onto your switch or your console. And then you'll see this code right here. So I enter it in K G L. Oh, I haven't typed it in yet. K G L two D W L T. As you guys can see, I don't have it open right here. I don't have this open, and I have my code in. So I press next. It'll it'll show up your email. Your your password will be hidden in here. I don't see enter the password sign into Geyser, so you just sign into your Microsoft account. You press accept whenever it shows this, and now you sign into Geyser. So now you close this window, and then on your device, you'll be like this. You'll be in the server, and now I'm actually in the server. This is my Java Edition skin. And as you can see, I can do some weird stuff. I can like this. If you're if you're ever somewhere else and your server is always open on your computer, you could just join the IP using like this. And whatever you do actually transfers over to your Java Edition account. So, if I'm just going to pause real quick. I'm going to put up a, another Minecraft on my actual computer. Or my actual screen. Just so you guys know. Like a launcher. And as I'm loading in. Why am I dying? Oh no. Oh no. As you can see, there's actually the, uh, the, the combat thing. You actually have the combat. Wait. So they added that, which is actually pretty cool. I have to get out of here because I'm gonna die. So I'm gonna pillar up. Give me blocks of gravel. Give me gravel. I'm gonna build four blocks up down here and it's gonna translate over to my computer. So let's say I break you, you, and you. I jump up here. I build one dirt block. I build up here five uh, or how many gravel blocks. And then now I'm up here, there'll be a zombie right below me, whenever I log up to my computer account. 
And actually, it does kick you. Sadly, you can't do two accounts at once, which would be pretty cool, but you can't. But anyways, uh, but, 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 there's a, wait a minute, I just realized this. There's a mob vote going on for Minecraft. You can vote a crab. Oh, well, there we go. Now I have my Minecraft open. I'm just gonna, f uh, I'm just gonna press this button. So I have multiplayer. I can go in here. I can just type local host since it's on, since this is my computer running the server. And then I am currently up top on this gravel pillar. I'm going to press this. You can see the people online on the right hand side. Like no. So if I save and quit, and then I join, I'm gonna be on top of some dirt pillars. So if I go like this, I'm gonna be on top of some dirt pillars. And wow, 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 I'm on top of some gravel pillars. How cool is that? You can actually do that. And for some reason, I have this like this. Um, no, how, much FPS am I even, how much FPS am I getting? I am getting a measly, you guys can't really see right now. Uh, oh, it's not working. Oh, okay. Well, I'm getting a good 700 frames, which is pretty decent if I go down. As you can see, there is the zombie that was trying to murder me, as, like a second before. Now I'm trying to suffocate this dude. I'm trying to suffocate this bro. Oh no, go away. Go, go. Oh, what the? How did bro even touch me? What? Alright, whatever. But you can see, any translate I uh, do will be transferred over to my Java Edition account, or if you do this, your Bedrock Edition account will be modified as well. So if I moved around, it would also move on my Bedrock Edition account. Now the one downfall to this is, now that I've signed out, I ha I'm literally back at this screen, so I have to rejoin all of those things and re-log into my Java account. It's, it's a process, but you can, and indeed, We'll play with your friends as long as you have a job edition account. Thank you all for watching. Have a good night and peace. Ah.